Good morning. There are a couple of verses in the first letter of John that I'd like to look at this morning. First John chapter 3 and verse 20 where it says God is greater than our conscience and knows everything. In some translations it says that God is greater than our hearts. The other verse is in chapter 4 and verse 18. In love there can be no fear, but fear is driven out by perfect love. Now these two verses are connected, but how do we understand them? Now, first of all, some people don't have a conscience at all. They seem to be able to hurt other people without it troubling them at all. And then there are others who have a conscience, but they justify a wrong course. Now Watchtower seems to be doing this at the moment. They're grabbing money from every source they can think of. They have stolen Kingdom Halls, stolen congregation money. And collectively, they have justified this very bad course. Let's hope they change. So what does a good conscience do? A good conscience will move us, as it says in chapter 3 and verse 17, if a man who was rich enough in this world's goods saw that one of his brothers was in need but closed his heart to him, how could the love of God be in him? So a good conscience prompts us to do good if and when we can, being reasonable. Our conscience will also accuse us if we do something wrong. Now, we will do something wrong every day, so we got to be a bit careful as to how our consciences play us up because some people's consciences they do something wrong they repent they try to put things wrong right I beg your pardon they go to God in prayer and ask for his forgiveness and receive it but years down the line their consciences still bother them now, how do we cope in that case? Because I think all of us can easily fall into that trap. This is where chapter 4 and verse 18 comes in. It says that fear is driven out by perfect love, and it's the fear of expecting punishment. Because when our conscience keeps bothering us like that, what happens is that we start to think, that God is going to adversely judge us on the day of judgment. And so our hearts get full of fear. Now, the antidote to this is in verse 16. It says, we ourselves have known and have put faith in God's love towards ourselves. God is love. Now we know that God loved us far more long before we even knew him and he loved us so much that he put in place a means for our forgiveness and our salvation now we need to trust that and when we've taken all the necessary steps we've said we're sorry we've done what we can to put things right there's been a period of, of reflection for us to uh, try not to do the same thing again we've done all that then we go to God and explain the situation and we accept his forgiveness. Now, one of the commentaries says on verse 18, which says that in love there can be no fear, it explains that your heart can either be full of love or full of fear. It can't be both. So if we fill our hearts with gratitude and great love that God has gone to great lengths to forgive us, accept it, accept the love. There's no room for fearing that we're going to be adversely judged when the judgment day comes. So, as one commentary puts it here, Vincent's word studies, the sense is when our heart condemns us, we shall quiet it with the assurance that we are in the hands of a God who is greater than our heart, who surpasses man in love and compassion, no less than in knowledge. And then in the pulpit commentary, it says, 
our consciences are not fallible, but God is. Our hearts may be deceived, but God cannot be. He knows all things. This is an awful thought for the impenitent, but a blessed and encouraging thought for the penitent. God knows that we're sorry and that we're doing our best to obey his commands. As it goes on, he knows our sins, but he also knows our temptations, our struggles, our sorrows, and our love. So if we assure ourselves of God's love, there's no room for fear of a bad judgment. Be assured that we will receive a wonderful blessing from God when the kingdom comes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry about last week. I was a bit laid up. But anyway, take care all of you and God bless you all. Thank you.